tire choices. Now, as with the point, you need them with some paint on them to the new tires because <coughs> they're a bit slick and old. That's the best tire. So I've got some new tires. Now there's so many tires out there. I've had a lot of cars over the years. 99% of tires are going to do the job, depending on what you want it for. The Mark V Golf I've got a budget that runs budget tires, cheaper chips because of where I drive and what I do. If I pop out a tire, I'm out of pocket 50 quid to get a new tire on there, changed and fitted. Not out of pocket a couple of hundred quid. <clears throat> so, Toyo tires. I like Toyo tires. We have gone for Toyo Proxis TR1s, um, 195 5015s, normal tyre. These are good. Nice radial pattern, nice looking tyre, and they're good and cheap. I say cheap compared to some. These were £76 for two tyres on eBay delivered. However, I did find these two lo located quite near me, £50 for two brand new surplus to requirements. Safe to say they're now here. So, why have we gone with them? Mainly, how the wheel tyre sits on the rim. Now, as you can see, this, that a good angle there. Now, I want the standard wheels on the car, or G60s with the fat caps, to make the car look standard with a little bit more OEM plus. Now, the way I do that, or I want to do that, is by having tyres like this. Now, if you notice, the tyres, when it's pumped up, got a nice flat sidewall not bulging out nice and flat and you've also got this little lip here which means the tyres sit just that little nats bit wider than the wheel and it fills out the arch a little bit more now that's how a tyre should fit I'll show you a video in a minute of me drawing how a tyre should be fitted as in stretch tyres so dangerous it's stupid a little bit of stretch yeah it's fair enough but I've seen I'll show you the drawing in a minute it doesn't take long to explain why it's dangerous so this is what we're going for these are the Toyo Proxis, where it gets confusing, where's it gone? Now, these are the Toyo Proxis T1Rs, and these are the Toyo Proxis TR1s. Confusing, eh? But at the end of the day, they're a good brand make, they're a good price, they fit the wheel properly, and they're black and circular, and grip on the road. So, um, the front ones probably won't last long once that's running, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, we're going to get these fitted on. Then we're going to get the wheels painted up and then that'll be the car with <clears throat> some nice rubber. Now there's loads of other brands I could have gone for. I was looking at Avon, they're quite a good, good thing, but the car's not really low the mileage yet. It's probably going to track at some point. It's going to get hammered down country lanes, all sorts. So I want a good all round tyre. And again, if I hit a pot or something that blows a tyre out or whatever, I don't want to be forking out hundreds of pounds getting a replacement tyre. Cheap and cheerful, but still safe and do the job. Now. I'll show you the video of me drawing why a tyre should be fitted correctly, not these silly stretch tyres which all the Euro boys love. So that's the tyres, that's the tyre choice I've gone for. Loads out there, like I say, but they're the reason why I've gone for. Good price, good strong, genuine tyre. Simple size, 195 5015s, 82Vs. And yeah, we got a we got a B on wet grip and stuff. We got a D on fuel economy, not really worried about fuel economy in that. Um, 70 decibels tyre noise again the exhaust will be louder than that and the induction noise but yeah nice tyres nice beat dip on there so the wheel tyres sit nice and look good so I'll stop jabbering and show you my amazing artistic impression of why stretch tyres are dangerous so as we can see why am I amazing drawing so this is your basic wheel rim obviously it's not exact because obviously if your wheels like that you're going to have a bit of wobble issue so this is your wheel rim note the important parts here so this is the outside of your wheel, and this is your tyre. Now you notice the tyre has this corner bit. <clears throat> this bit here. So you notice it goes in a bit, goes down, and this bit. This bit here, and that bit there, go there and there. This bit here, that is how the tyre fits on the rim and seals. So there's two L shapes, bop, 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 bop. So these two, you've got this mating surface, this gap in here. That area, that's your mating surface, which needs to seal to hold in, I don't know, your 30 PSI, 40 PSI, whatever's in there, to hold that pressure. 
because all the time the tyres moving constantly as we know we're not we're not simpletons that is your sealing point there so that is very important now i'll show you what a stretch tyre looks like and here we go is again our lovely design of a stretch tyre now this is what you're doing when you fit a stretch tyre yeah you've got oh, yeah, a couple of wheel rims sticking out that cratches the arch and anything else and you've got a weak tyre sticking up there you can see from the other picture because I'll, I'll just turn it around during the back that's where your normal tyre would sit so that's your that's your normal tyre with your normal tyre with your two ceiling points your big long surface contact of that part there and that part there nice ceiling point and you can see from the stretch tyre you've got one two two puny little points Obviously it's a picture, but this is simplified. This is what a tyre is doing. That's how a stretch tyre is fitted. It's not right for the tyre. You'll put an excess strain, because these are steel bandits, so you've got lots of metal wires all inside the tyre, which is designed to sit like that and take force. And when the tyres sit like that, they're bending at the wrong angle. So you're not sealing, because it's not seated properly. You put an excess force inside the metal inside that wheel. And as we know, if the metal is bent the wrong way it's designed to, Eventually it fatigues, shears, and then that's when you get a blowout. That's why I hate them. They're just so... I can understand the look a little bit, but it's just stupid. It really is. I mean, yeah, okay. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But I just don't see the point in driving something that unsafe. Do you? I wouldn't want that blowing out. I mean, you might have people saying, Oh, yeah, I've had stretch tires for years. I've never had a blowout. How many miles have you driven? How many potholes you smashed? And it's that one chance... That fatigue kicks in, that all fails, you have a pothole, hit it, that goes out and you bin your car and kill someone. It's just not worth it, is it? Get a tyre that fits properly. So there we go, there's my lovely drawings. Got the centre caps all cleaned up. Um, they've cleaned up lovely, pretty easily to be honest, because whoever painted them didn't primer them. Now this is all the paint. This was off this one actually. Just um, The paint just peeled off with a um, Stanley blade. So clean them all out, nice and touched up in there. So I'll get some plastic primer for them. They'll be painting the same silver as the wheels will be. So there we go, tyre choices. That's what I've gone for. Good choice of tyre, reliable, well-proven Toyo tyres as well. Can't go wrong with it. So look forward to the next video when hopefully we're painting these and sticking them back on the car, which is currently floating. See you in the next one.